The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two stand-up, excellent stand-up comedians. I mean, two? I mean, I'd like to think so. I mean, I hope so. Yeah. First, uh, first, he is the funniest, low-voice-having homosexual that we all know and love, Mr. J.P. Woo! Woo! What was the music you were just playing? Um, well, you, is that's, that a button? That, yeah, it is a button, and that's what I'm going to bring you out to. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, he just got his very first special out on the YouTubes. It is called the number one best-selling comedy special of all time. Is that right? Nope. But- oh, cl- it was close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Mike Baldwin. Yeah, I fucking love that song. Is that the, yeah, that's, that's what is, hot. What is that? It's that's... it's this stupid fucking uh, like saxophone player that keeps playing the same thing over and over again. All right, and had like multiple videos. One with Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Now there's one on TikTok of a fucking Squirtle from Pokemon doing the saxophone, and it's just it gets stuck in my fucking head. Hmm. But anyways, hey, well, that makes it a little <laughs> less cool. I was just like, yeah, good no song that you found, and you were like, yeah, it's the number one noise in America right now. <laughs> Kind of. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, we have an excellent show in uh, in store for you this, uh, this week. Um, yeah. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, yeah, and this That's is also, where I come in. That is correct. <laughs> this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend, Fuck. Yeah, and offend a lot of people that have very thin skin. Shit. So if you don't like that, None of that. you're in the wrong place. Sorry. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Man, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Oh, I'm so excited. What? I'm 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 dead serious. I've got no, stories galore this week, oh, gentlemen. Man, okay. Let's hear them. Now I'm less excited. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> uh, but no, there's a lot of headlines that we're going to go still over. Still new, so he's like, let's hear them. He's actually he's not excited. that new. I, I think he's he, new enough that he wants to hear your stories. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, so. he, he's not. Oh, no, I was just being polite. Oh, okay, <laughs> very good. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> Tell me. Come oh, on, no. buddy. Tell me about your day. Oh, uh, we will. We'll get to that point. We've All got right. uh, some headlines. Lines uh, to get to. We've got Never Have I Ever. That's where I draw the line. That's JP's favorite segment. Love it. We got questions in, preguntas, and as always, a draft and a shitty situation to wrap things up at the end of the show. Uh, but before we get on to the, that kind of stuff, we like to talk about what happened to us over the last week. And uh, we always kick off with JP because the guy doesn't do a fucking thing. But it, I, I have a feeling you did some stuff. He does stuff. I mean, I mean some stuff. Just Your some feelings are incorrect oh come I mean, on i didn't really do anything i started watching a new show yeah uh, on netflix called obliterated obliterated yeah it's about a uh, special uh, this is about a tactical team i know there's a tactical team okay, now man. <laughs> spoiled uh spoiler alert uh anyway they go on this mission and they're on this mission for a long time and then they end up in vegas toward the end of this mission and they think they complete the mission so they decide to have a rager in Vegas oh, to nice. celebrate. Well, turns out they didn't complete the mission, and now they've got to go back to work. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, dude, it's phenomenal. While they're it's, obliterated, yeah, it sounds right, like. Right, exactly. Huh, so I get the idea. Yeah, get the it's premise. really good, man. That's hmm. awesome. You have to check it out. What's Got it on? Uh, Netflix. Okay. Yeah. What about uh, what about the bowling? How'd the bowling yeah, man, do? it was Bad. It was oh, bad. It was bad. I bowled like crap. I pulled a muscle in my neck. That sucks. I haven't been able to sleep. 
Yeah. Uh, it's really bad. I know how but, that uh, is. Isn't it weird yeah, how it something not connected to the thing that you're doing can just destroy the thing that you're doing? So, yeah, like, I can look at you mm-hmm. just fine. But to look at Mike, I have to, like, turn <laughs> yeah. my whole chair. Uh-huh. And that's the worst. That's man. all right. I don't like when uh, you look at me anyway, dude. So this works out good, just fine. Good. I'm glad you're on my right then. That's perfect. <laughs> Sounds that's perfect. like that's a that's a 40 and older problem. I'm guessing. Okay. Just throwing that well, out hey, there. thank you you're for welcome. that, man. You're welcome. Just in case people didn't already know I was old as balls. <laughs> now you know. Yeah, He's okay. not wrong, though. I get no, I have random totally that. Yeah, I, body injuries, yeah, and I'm like, that's worst. just unexplained. It just just hurts now for the next week i'm 36 guys and i've pulled a muscle while sitting like this is it's not a 40 no thing. me it's, too I, I was not bowling at the time <laughs> yes. i pulled let's just let's clear this up real quick <laughs> i'm not that fucking athletic to where i'm doing i'm hurting myself while i'm doing the sport mm-hmm. it's when i was sitting on the fucking bench waiting to bowl and i fucking just you just hopped up too quick, yeah, man. Yes, something, dude. It, yeah. it really sucks. Have yeah, you guys, yeah. am I weird or? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I've had multiple times in my life where I've turned my head too quickly and then it just feels really hot. Does that ever happen to anybody? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. What is that? Pinch nerve. <laughs> What's somewhere? that all about? <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> it's a pinch nerve somewhere, uh, is what it is. Yeah. It's just weird that it gets warm, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, so. uh, it's a strange feeling. Yeah, so if you're watching on YouTube's. Uh, you just see me rubbing myself the whole show. Yeah, it's, if you see me rubbing yeah, myself, it's because I because uh, I pinched a nerve. I pulled Did you pinch my a dick. nerve in your dick, JP? Well, no, I just do that for you. Oh, Nobody okay. else can see that. That's great. But uh, and then uh, so I was I was on the way over here tonight, and I stopped at the Walgreens to get a yeah. coke and a pack of cigarettes. Right. And there's this guy that I always think he's checking me out every time I'm in there, oh, and I think maybe he's not, and I just hope he is. But then I'm not attracted to him, so I really it wouldn't even if he asked me out or something, I wouldn't do it. But it would just be nice to be noticed. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I walk in the door tonight and he's behind the main counter and then there's another lady over here at the other counter. And I walked in to get the Coke and as I'm walking to get my Coke, he's walking back from out from behind the main counter. I said, Oh, hey, hold on, man, I need you real quick. And he looks over and he goes, She can help you and I said and starts to walk away again and I said, No, I need cigarettes and he he just turns around and he's like Oh, and then he just walks back up to the front like I've just come fucking completely inconvenienced this whole night. So I give him he's like, do you have your ID? And I'm like, really, man? I'm like, OK, so I get out my ID. I give it to him. And he's like looking at it and he's looking at me and he's looking. I'm like, dude, what is he doing? He scans it or whatever. And now I think memorizing I, now your address. I, yeah, I was like, is he stalking me? <laughs> no. I hope he's stalking me. <laughs> you no. hope he is? Oh yeah, man. I love stalkers. They're the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, they leave, you, they leave you presents and stuff like that on the porch. Oh no. Oh yeah, my stalkers have in in the past, the two that I've had have been very, very courteous and very <laughs> nice people. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm I always glad for you. Yeah, I always have poor stalkers. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. It does suck. I guess those are just the kind of stalkers I attract. Yeah, man. I guess you should try to attract a new type of stalker. Oh man, Maybe you should do some work on yourself. No kidding. Well, but uh, yeah. So other than that, man, that's about the most exciting thing that's happened to me. Did you play any new video games? No. Okay, it's no. still Goat Simulator Three is yeah, the primary. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Have you guys played Baldur's Gate 3? No. No. It won game of the year over what I thought was the best game of the year, which is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And so it's got to be better than that. So I feel like you guys should try it. And I'm, then- getting, I'm getting ready to buy the new Avatar. Yeah, you I'm and excited Derek are about that, that stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited about that one. I've seen some gameplay on it, and I'm not sold yet. I'm not quite sold, especially with as much time that they put into it. I'm like, I oh, f- I did start playing a new game. Oh, what'd you play? It's called It Takes Two. It's like it's like <laughs> a kid's game, man. <laughs> no, but the graphics are freaking awesome. And okay, that's once good. you get into it, it's actually pretty fun. But it's it's like a story. It's like a yeah. movie. Yeah, that's the best cartoon. ones, to me. dude. Actually, man, if you like that kind of stuff, you would love this game. But you have to have two people to play. Uh oh. <laughs> So, so, so you're bringing it over here. Is what you're yeah, I could do that. All right. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't go anywhere. Yeah. You got to come to me. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to leave Mike for the crescendo because he's got a lot of shit to talk about. Uh, if it sounds it's like one thing, really, really, but, <laughs> but it, there's probably a lot about it. There is. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Damn right. There is. I, I, if I sound like I'm extremely tired and just 
uh, like drained. That's because I got absolutely no sleep last night. Why? Um, my dog, my pit bull at about, oh, I'd say about 1130 midnight, all of a sudden starts like, like you hear him (laughs) like swallowing and like coughing and, uh, just moving around and it just makes me kind of uneasy because he's just not sitting still. So obviously I'm getting frustrated. I'm like, dude, just sit still. And, uh, he does that for about two hours. We let him outside he acts like he needs to go outside for like an emergency or whatever, and we let him go outside, come back in, and right at about two thirty to three o'clock in the morning, he starts hacking and gagging again, and all of a sudden, just just all over the fucking floor. Oh, and I at least he wasn't in the bed. Uh, well, yeah, and God damn it, the thing after being an EMT. I can deal with blood. I can deal with guts. I can deal with broken bones. I can deal with shit. I can't do throw up. That's the only thing that I can't do. How is shit it's better than throw up? Because shit, you're supposed to do that. That's something that you are supposed to do. Puking is not a normal thing. It's going the wrong way, so and it smells awful. So broken bones smells are su- worse than supposed shit. to happen. Smells, yeah, it smells worse than, sh- than shit to me. Because, dude, people fart, right? Like, everybody yeah, I mean, farts. I don't, but uh, well, I'm whatever. special. Yeah, you are special. <laughs> But, I mean, it was just absolutely disgusting. So, naturally, my wife is cleaning this up at 3 o'clock in naturally, the morning. Naturally, <laughs> because Scotty's not fucking doing it. <laughs> I'm sitting at the edge of the bed like he's, a little bitch. He's, just, like, r- r- grabbing her shoulder. Hey, hey, <laughs> I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's the worst part is that that smell naturally makes me start to throw up mm-hmm. like that's it's so it's just so then you bad. threw up over the other throw up no i that would have been I, I i just i had to stay away cool. yeah shepherd's pie yeah, of throw yeah, up yeah, right but she is an amazing individual so she was able to clean it up she is and, yeah, dude she, she is. has to be man and uh and we were able to go back to to go to sleep but by the time i got even close to getting tired it was four o'clock in the morning mm. and then on saturday boy do i have a story for you I uh, get to one of those nights to where I, I can't sleep. So uh, I decided at 2 o'clock in the morning to go sit down in my kitchen, uh, at my kitchen table, and watch TikTok with my headphones in. And inside of my kitchen, I have two French doors that open up into my backyard deck in my backyard. And I'm it's sitting true. down. I've I'm, seen them. I'm sitting down at my kitchen table, and all of a sudden, I hear, and I'm like, what the fuck? It's, it, it's directly behind me. And I just, I kind of freak out. I'm not going to lie. My heart starts to race. Take out my headphones, put down my phone, run upstairs. And as you guys can (laughs) probably. Hide in the closet. Oh, (laughs) no, sir, Bob. Absolutely not. Because you know what's upstairs in this house. Yeah. Guns. Yeah, rich white people think. So (laughs) I immediately go for my 12-gauge shotgun, pump-action shotgun. And I'm a, I'm a safe gun owner. That motherfucker's always loaded. And so I pull that out, and I am all of a sudden in recon mode. There's somebody outside of my back door that I need to fucking take Shoot. care of. Yeah. Yeah. Or that desperately, <laughs> needs, or that help. desperately needs help. Or something. Uh, but whenever I'm, I got the gun, I'm already... And, and I make sure that I'm in the vicinity of my kitchen to where anybody who's outside of that kitchen... Hears me rack that gun because everybody says, you know, if you hear that sound, you know, there's a gun involved and I don't give you a warning shot. That's just not something I'm going to do. So I am at the top of the stairs. I rack it and then I start to clear the door. And my French doors also have blinds in between them, so I cannot see outside as well. So I decide if there is somebody outside... I need to take care of them and get them out of my backyard. Mm -hmm. So I clear the door. What what does clear the door mean? That means I basically sweep the door, make sure nobody's sitting behind it. I also go through, make sure there's nobody out on the deck, and then I start a recon mission in my backyard at 2.30 in the morning. Basically, this dumb motherfucker is walking (laughs) around his backyard. What he's saying is... With a shotgun. He's walking around the backyard with a shotgun at 2 in the morning Uh like he's a fucking Navy SEAL. I am strapped. And and meanwhile, a poor vagabond is bleeding out (laughs) in his yard. You're dead, motherfucker. That just got 
it's kidnapped too, it's is too, trying to run away all and i'm thinking find is it's, help. It's, yeah it's like an eight-year-old that got yeah, away from his yeah. cap tours well. it's mm-hmm. all i'm thinking is it's two o'clock in the morning it's one <laughs> of two situations it's either a dumb bunch of kids that tried to knock but knocked on the back door not the knock front on door. the wrong fucking knock back that, door that's right or it's somebody who was you know either trying to get in or intimidate me or something so yeah i'm i'm strapped motherfucker so i then do you have to jump a fence or something to get in your backyard yeah you do yeah, okay yeah, all right you do and pa- so painting a picture here they they have intruded <laughs> on my 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 property mm-hmm. so then i also have sheds in my backyard so then i proceed to clear them anyways i know what that means <laughs> okay i was just gonna yeah. explain it to him but if he knows it takes me a half hour to do this i am in my backyard i'm not even shitting because your backyard's not that big bro dude I'm going slow because I don't know if that person's armed and I can't see. I even have floodlights, but I can't see around corners. I'm being very cautious. Mm-hmm. I would pay money <laughs> to see this <laughs> play out, dude. Oh, do you have yeah. cameras out there? No, I don't. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait I, a minute. I fucking do Wait, now. We're gonna, here. I do we're gonna now. three, two, one. You can cut that out. Yeah. Do you have cameras out there? I sure do. Oh, I figured you did. <laughs> but the footage is lost, so we can never yeah. watch it. Yeah. But anyway, so I, I I have cleared the backyard. There's nobody there. So I initially think one of two things. Either they're gone, they're never coming back, or they're gonna come back and do it again. Yeah. So I then Go back into the house, lock all the doors, and go up to to my bedroom where my wife was sleeping nice and peacefully (laughs) and now has both of my dogs, and she is like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, just stay here. I'm, I think somebody just knocked on the back door, and I'm I'm waiting to see if they come back. Mind you, I have my fucking shotgun in my hands. <laughs> so I go back downstairs. <laughs> I go back downstairs, put the shotgun on the the kitchen table oh no pull up my phone and put on my headphones and push the same video i was just walking and guess what happens oh shit boom 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 hey man you should check out these new headphones that i got on amazon I'm like you motherfucker it was oh, all God, a dude. video on my goddamn phone oh no i felt <laughs> so stupid that's weird <laughs> I knew that's where it was going the whole time. I, I didn't, honestly. I was like, look, I'm really good at figuring that kind of shit out. As soon as you said you had your headphones in and you're watching TikTok, I was like, dude, it was definitely on the video. And he's fucking, oh, I love that story, Scotty. I, I was so fucking pissed. I was so fucking pissed, more or less, that I then had to walk up into my bedroom, be like, it's fine. put up the gun, <laughs> and look at my wife and go, false alarm. Go, <laughs> false alarm. False alarm. Well, what the fuck did you find? Oh, uh, it was a video on TikTok I was watching. <laughs> so, yeah, I felt like an idiot. That video almost got fucked up. <laughs> that, that door in my house about oh, got fucked man. up. Man, so that would have been nuts, dude, if you would have just shot through the door. Oh, dude, so fuck. I was just thinking that, and then sued TikTok. You know what we need to do is <laughs> so, get one of those like cardboard cutout of people, uh-huh. and then we'll Shit. pound on his back door and we'll just put the cardboard cutout there, jump back over the fence, and he'll fucking shoot through the door, I guarantee it. Or I, now you're gonna the boy who cried wolf it when somebody really does bang on your door. No. Your dog, it was probably in the TikTok. I, <laughs> I, I, I was ready. I was uh, I was mentally sounds prepared. Like it, man. My adrenaline was rushing, but then that also means that on Saturday night, because of my adrenaline rush, I also didn't get much sleep that night either. Hmm. So, yeah, that was the, the fun thing. And then the last thing, I guess I, I, I will uh, try to get through this as fast as possible. Jeremy Robbins. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mister Jeremy Robbins that yeah. we never asked a question. He actually asked a question that doesn't pertain to anything funny, but he wanted to know actually how we selected uh, or how the show came to be from the unfiltered sports cast to laughing on the side. It's a show. It's a story I've told multiple times and I'll try to get through as fast as possible, but I did want to answer that question because I love telling that story because I love doing this fucking show and I've never heard it. So it was, even better. Okay. Okay. Crazy enough. What? Like I went back. mm, I want to say it was like 
maybe Saturday sometime. Yeah. I wasn't doing shit, and I was looking over YouTubes and stuff. Yeah. And the unfiltered thing popped up. I didn't even know. Yeah, dude. That that's where it starts. So I watched the very, oh. very first episode, man. Oh, good. It was real painful. I'm sure <laughs> it was. Holy shit. You've come a long way, baby. Wait, Give yourself yeah, some yeah. applause. Uh, yeah, sure have. Well, that's kind of the thing. the the whole The whole idea came around that Derek and myself had an idea of doing a show together. I wanted him to be on it because he was a stand up comedian. It was just after I saw him do stand up comedy for the first thing. It was one of those situations where I didn't want to go see Derek because I was so scared that he would be terrible and I'd have to be like, "Yeah, buddy, you did uh-huh. great." But he did really, really well, and I was impressed. and And the whole thing around it was if we could do like a rated R Sports Center kind of thing, I think that would be different and a lot more fun. Um, the initial part was Jeremy was not the first selection of being the third person. It was actually a completely different guy who was not a stand-up comedian, but because there was a scheduling conflict, he couldn't record on the days we wanted to record. So Derek reached out to Jeremy and Jeremy ended up coming on thinking he's only going to be on for one episode. Now, almost five years later, he is still part of the crew on the show. But the reality of the whole thing with doing a podcast, if you've ever tried to start one, especially for the first year, year two almost, you don't have a lot of listeners. That's just kind of the thing. Unless you have a big name already, it's really fucking difficult. Yeah. So I was actually lying to Derek and Jeremy. Like, oh, yeah, man, we're growing. <laughs> There's Bullshit. like four people. No, it was it was about 100 <clears throat> to 130 people average per show. And I mean, 130 was a good fucking yeah. show. Like, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, but yo, no, no, we're growing, we're growing. And then finally... Finally, I finally said, listen, nobody gives a fuck about the sports. If they want to go and look up sports, they have ESPN for that, and they can come to their own conclusions. And plus, if you don't have a very good name, nobody gives a fuck what your take on sports are. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the, the show then kind of flipped and went more towards a target to – have comedians that uh, being Derek and Jeremy and actually get them exposure, which which made me actually change the name. It was my yeah. idea for laughing on the sidelines. That's the very first time Derek actually approved of something that I wanted I to do. It. Wow. And he loved the name, and now it's stuck, and now we actually have a crew of about six to seven guys that come on the show on a regular basis, and now it is pretty much geared to expose getting exposure to all the comedians that uh, that could come on the show. And now you get like 140 listeners. Yeah. Every yeah. Week, and that's awesome. You're but, welcome. Building them up. But yeah, so I did want to answer that. I appreciate the question. It's an awesome uh, I'm it's probably one of the my favorite things I've ever done. I didn't want to stop doing the show because I love doing the show so much. It's a lot of fun to me. Uh, and so I really enjoy it. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about very briefly was I wanted to ask you guys a question uh, because I found this out about myself. Us or the listeners? Oh, no, you guys. Okay. You, t- you two that are sitting here. Um, is it true or false? Whenever you use Wikipedia, do you only use it to go and look up famous people on how they died? I don't know. No, you actually use it? Yeah. That's all I use it for. I found out just to see when people just, died. No, not when they died, how, how they died. I find out a celebrity dies and immediately I go, I want to know how they died. So I go and the first thing pops up is Wikipedia and they have a fast tab that goes cause of death and I immediately go to that. Like that. Yeah, I found out that the the Yellow Ranger from Power Rangers <laughs> got into a car accident. Mm. Um Christy Alley died of ass cancer and then uh, this fat bitch that um, that uh, just was a kind of a pain in the ass she's an italian actress her name is like itziar castro um she sorry w- to the castro family yeah. Yeah. she was a yeah. wonderful woman. she was a wonderful but, actress but the wonderful whole thing lady. was is that she was one of those people that uh like shame people for being fat phobic she died of a heart attack <laughs> so there you go that's why and that's we all why. know only fat people die of heart attacks no mm-hmm. it's just very ironic but yeah anyways so I don't. Sorry I don't, for your loss. I don't trust uh, uh, Wikipedia. I I don't trust all of the answers, but the, especially now that there's a certain causes of death that you're not even allowed to speculate oh, on. Oh, that's a good point. That is true. That so is Wikipedia true. is like, no, it was just a regular old fashioned heart attack. <laughs> Look at her. She was fat. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Some might say a fat bitch. Even <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some might. Sorry. 
Uh, but yeah, sorry for for her and her family. I hope everything um, May works. She rest works in peace. I hope everything works out for you. <laughs> How's the uh, death going? Yeah, that got yeah. Any better. Yeah, I hope the funeral is wow, nice man. and everybody comes in. I hope her fa- I wish, wow. wish her family the best. Boy, that was a great ending. <laughs> Man, you know, at the beginning, I was worried, but I, you, know you closed it out really well. I have dark humor, and I love dark humor, and so that's where we're going with it. But anyways, the it's most the only important thing dark that you love. Uh, shut up, wainers. Um, no. no, that's JP. Oh, um, yeah, mm-hmm. guilty. There, there you go. Uh, but most importantly, over the last weekend, we had our very own Mike Baldwin have his special release. Which I was- did my comedy special. It's yeah. called. You you didn't say it exactly right. Yeah, I was close. It's called number one top selling, top selling best comedy special ever. There you go. And I called it that because you can just call albums whatever <laughs> you want. There's no rules or anything. So it's sort of clickbaity, but I've gotten good responses from it so yeah. far. It came out Thursday night. We had a few hundred people that watched it the moment that it came out. And since then, I've gotten like 50,000 people to check it out. And I've taken, I think I've figured out the secret. Okay. Uh, so like TikTok, the other day, I was about to post something that was less than a minute because that's the thing I've been doing for the last couple of years. Like yeah. TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, all that shit is they had a one minute cap. And in the last six months or so, they've all changed that a little bit. Now, TikTok, you can do up to 10 minutes. Instagram, you can do 90 seconds. YouTube, for whatever reason, still caps you at 60 seconds. But anyway, so I got a thing on TikTok when I opened it the other day, and it was like, people like videos that are longer than a minute. Try doing that. And Mm -hmm. so I was like, all right, I'll make one that's like five minutes then. (laughs) Don't don't try me. (laughs) And uh, I'll show you. So I put that up, and it got like, uh, I don't know, three or 400,000 views on uh, TikTok and then I posted it on Reddit which if you're watching and you do Reddit it's notoriously like shitty it's like (laughs) young kids and or, you know like teenage boys and shit like you're a piece of shit in the comments and that kind of stuff and you know, oh, somebody <laughs> farted. Is that what we're looking at each other about? No, no JP's ears perked up when you said teenage boys. Oh, I didn't say teenage. I just said young. Oh, so they're, young boys. They're twenty-one. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Sorry, my bad. They're legal, JP. Of course Don't they feel are. weird. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, they really are like teenagers and yeah. stuff. Not, uh, but anyway, none of that matters. So I posted the same video on Reddit, and it got like eight or nine thousand upvotes. I got on the front page of Reddit. I got a whole bunch more hits on the YouTube thing that my special's actually on. Anyway, it's just been a fun week. I've I've gotten. Uh, like I've seen the special a bunch of times because I was involved in the editing process. <laughs> he's a hundred thousand of the. He was yeah. there. <laughs> That's what my friend said the other day. Like, congrats, man! And I was like, I know my finger hurts. I've just yeah. been hitting refresh over and over again. <laughs> And he was like, is that true? And I was like, no, <laughs> no, I don't even think that's how it works. It doesn't work like that. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I've i seen it so many times that I'm like, oh, I hate this part, and this is a weird, long, awkward thing, And but I haven't heard any negativity about any of it. Like, yeah, no, But I think the, the reason is that people are just so used to shitty comedy specials on Netflix and stuff like that. They're used to not hearing a laugh for a minute and a half. You yeah. Know? So that it's as cringy as it is to me to be like, oh man, you're supposed to fucking laughs per minute, dude. That's what it's all about. Like one laugh every 15 seconds. And I'm yeah. like, but this is a minute and a half where I'm just talking, but it leads to something eventually. I don't know. Like I, it's been fun. Yeah, That's all. dude. No, I was, I was very proud of you. I have watched the whole thing. Uh, I watched it twice. I watched it uh, with my wife and then I watched it again just to make sure I didn't miss anything, you know? Yeah. And dude, you did a fucking fantastic job. And I and I got to give a shout out. I was very impressed with the, the production. Uh, Eight hundred pound gorilla. Did, yeah, did a pretty fucking awesome job. Yeah, they so, did, they. I'm I'm pleased with everything overall, and they've been really cool about, uh, you know, yeah, the communication and and advertising and that kind of stuff. I don't know if they're spending money like boosting ads know. or anything like that, but 
it's getting traction, man. I just yeah. hope more and more people like 50,000 views on YouTube is not enough for me to call a club and be like, Hey man, you're going to want to hire me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you, you know? see this. Like, so I, I'm just hoping that it keeps going up and up, but it's like, uh, it's 55 minutes long and I've been posting. I, today I posted my second five minute chunk. So I've got at least whatever that math is more <laughs> of those that I can post. I'm not a math man. I'm a, no, I'm I'm not. a comedian. What are you, a math man? That's actually <laughs> yeah. a good way to say that. Yeah. It's like uh, instead of um, algebra teacher or whatever, it's like <laughs> I've got to go kind of see the math <laughs> man. Yeah. I, I did actually have one question that bothered me the entire time when I watched the special, though. I'm sorry, man. No, no, no. It's actually a pretty good question. What is it? You grew out your hair. I did. Why? Because you... I because and I, there was thought behind this. I oh. didn't. I didn't want a fifty-year-old Karen-type lady to click on the video, oh. see a shaved head beard guy, and gotcha. be like, "Nope, Tell I don't want to watch this." <laughs> <laughs> so Tell I was man. just like, "I'm gonna just look like as as humble and yeah. shitty as I can." Yeah. So That's yeah, good. I didn't I didn't cut my hair for like three months, and if, if you can tell, probably just from looking at it, but it don't grow up here <laughs> the way that it's it's supposed to. I'm just kidding. I'm sure there was a reason, but that was like the only thing that I noticed, and I was just like. Like, he never has his hair like that. Why did he do that? Yeah, I, it's, anyway. it's interesting because I was talking, the place that I recorded it was the Comedy Club of Kansas City, and my friend Dustin owns that. And I was talking on the phone to him, and we were, this is months before I did it, and I was just like, what, you know, like, people are going to see a, a shaved-headed beard guy, and they're going to be like, no, he's probably like a Trump supporter or something. <laughs> like, I don't want to fucking watch Touché. this guy. So Touché. I was like, I just want to look as normal and unappealing as I possibly can. <laughs> well, congratulations, buddy. It yeah, sounds buddy. like you did the job. It is. You did a great job. But I, I also like feel good because I've been doing low carb since uh, mid-November, so I'm yeah. down 25 pounds. Congratulations. I'm down two belt notches. Oh, boy. That yes. puts an extra almost... Uh, half inch on the old peter yeah it's, it's it is <laughs> yeah. yes good, good it's, nice. you. it's almost back to hanging yeah, all right not quite it's still just just perched on the balls so, but big question though is because of the <laughs> no response to that at all <laughs> so uh, another question what uh no but the the number of views that you've got for this youtube thing has it gotten you any pussy uh it, it's gotten me um <laughs> some offers <laughs> yeah i've gotten i've gotten some pictures of, nice. of females and stuff Good that are just you. like like congrats on the special and then the next thing is a, just a picture of their boobs nice. have you got any males i i've gotten emails from guys in but no pictures yeah thankfully no <laughs> well hold on i could have swore i sent let me check who again. did i send that to yeah shit uh, well, yeah, that's what's always weird. I want to joke about that on stage about like, you know, my my Snapchat is <laughs> yeah. comedian M. I, it used to be comedian Mike B. But then I got this app that saved snaps uh -huh. without telling the person that you saved them. And boy, it was great. But then Snapchat deleted my whole account because I did that. Mm. So I had to make a new one and it's just comedian and the letter M. But I want to go on stage and be like, hey, send me your pictures, ladies. But I'm just afraid that it's going to be all opposite. wieners. Yeah. And shit. It will all all, yeah. Yes, it will definitely be. But I mean, dude, we had we had JP come on the show for the very first time, uh, and all of a sudden, Instagram was <laughs> full of dick pics. Really? Yes. <laughs> all right. Where are they? I haven't seen any of these. They're gone. That's all. I don't appreciate that. They were I burned. Don't even, I don't even answer the messenger anymore because I'm so <laughs> terrified. It's what you get. You break. Keep the, them coming, boys. Keep break, them coming. You break the rules. You reap the consequences. All no right. response. Right. I don't. Anyways. I would, I would look at it, just, <laughs> but it would only be to critique myself. You know, oh, is it, you need a comparison. I still feel weird about that to this day. My brother-in-law had uh, some guy passed out uh, drunk or whatever. This was twenty years ago, you know. But there was a guy that was passed out drunk. I wasn't there when all this. But somebody took a picture of this other guy putting his dick on this guy's <laughs> face and. Uh, and so my sister and my brother-in-law are going through this stuff and they stumbled upon this picture and they're like, ha, huh. and, and I saw it, you know, <laughs> and I was just, my immediate thought was like, that is like 10 times bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's taken up his whole face. It How was, is that possible? I was. I wasn't. It's been edited. I wasn't sexually aroused. I was just medically curious, you know. <laughs> and that was one of the first times in my life that I was like, "Wait, is mine really not, small? Is mine not the same as everybody else's?" <laughs> and so then, cut to an hour later. I'm just standing in the kitchen by myself looking at this picture <laughs> and my brother-in-law walks in and he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> like, uh, and so I had to put it away quickly and it, and oh, I man. still cringe at that yeah. interaction to Way this to go, day. Buddy. Well, that was all of our week weeks. Uh, hope everybody else out there had a great week. I do want to give a shout out to a Sean Parks. His birthday uh, will be, I guess, re- right whenever we're recording this show. So happy birthday out there to them. Happy birthday, Sean. Yeah, happy birthday, Sean. Uh, but now we get to move on to the headlines. Uh, we had a lot of stuff happen over the last week in sports world. Uh, and I know that uh, these guys aren't huge sports fans, but I you, am. You do not have to be sports fans for these. I Check guarantee it out. you. Oh, look. Hey, the- good job. They lost this week. We're going to get to that in a little bit. It oh. hasn't fit for the last four years. Good for you. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to talk about is uh, a very important move in the baseball world. Shohei Otani to the Dodgers. The contract initially, well, at least it's still this, but right. it's very weird. It is 10 years for $700 million. If you do the math, that should be $70 million per year. Uh, and that is the largest sports contract of all time, right? Yeah. But it's weird. Because Otani is one of those guys who has kind of made it public that he doesn't really care about the money. He just wants to fucking win. So now he is actually deferring his payments. He is only going to make $2 million per year for 10 years, right? So he's going to make $20 million in 10 years. He's going to have a shitload of endorsements that he's going to probably be doing just fine living off of. And then they are going to start paying him the remainder after his contract is over. Well, yeah, because by then, $68 million will only be worth what fucking $5. $10 million is yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. But no, that is... So is that not going to hurt him after? No, he's still going to get paid. Right, but is that not going to hurt the organization? Not because only is then it... then they don't have... Because basically what you're saying is he's going to retire... Yeah, probably. I, be, I bet he does. I, I'm sure. So they can just pay him out of the organization. And it's not going to count against their cap. Correct. And that, that is, is why. so people, dirty. Dude, it is so fucked up because wow. they saved so much cap space I with this how idea. Many people are going to start doing this. Oh, a lot. Oh, it, this it, because this is a weird stipulation. It, but you have to have a player who's willing, willing to, to do, do that. that. Yeah. And that is what Shohei Otani. So I'll the, do it. The Dodgers yeah, are say, I'll do fucking stupid. Stacked right now. Mm, interesting. So if they create a dynasty, this is basically how it starts. Mm. Everybody hates hated the Cowboys when Jerry Jones fucking did this shit back in the <laughs> what nineties. Yeah. And this is basically the Dodgers doing it now. So was not happy to, you know, hear so about So if that they suck, deal. then it's gonna be a, a big letdown. If they suck, I will be absolutely shocked or if this guy in his first at bat he he hits a a grounder to whatever word is and then he takes his first step and his his shin bone just shatters out from under him that is yes so what happens then that that i don't even think it matters i i I don't know what his guarantee is yeah that's what i would like to know but the thing is it even if it's possible, the Dodgers are so fucking stacked. Well, I think with this particular deal, because now they still have all of this cap, cap space, space to buy to other get, guys, and and if so, they can find oh, three other guys fuck. that are on his fucking wavelength, yeah. that really want to win. Oh, this is a five World who Series. Who doesn't team. want? Who yeah. doesn't really want to win? Mm. That's what pisses me off. Some it's people like, just want to get paid, man. That's all I do. All you do is win. Yeah, I'm sure. So what does what position does he play? Uh, that's kind of the thing. He is a dual threat. He is a starting pitcher and a very good one at that. I'm not saying he's like a the one, he's not the best pitcher in the in the in the league, but he's exceptional. And then he is an absolute fucking masher of the baseball. So he is a power hitter uh, that he can probably play in a couple positions in the field. 
Hmm. So it, it is it is probably one of those deals in baseball to where it's like, shit, this, this is probably worth it. This is and definitely the way that they structured the deal. It's no, definitely yeah, it's it's them, a win win for yeah. for both of them. Right. So huh. yeah. All right. anyways, moving on to the football. Um, I didn't really care about the the Giants game. I, I really didn't, especially Nobody did. especially the two Monday night games. Yeah. I get really pissed off when the NFL schedule does that shit. But the only thing that I really liked about the whole Giants game and everything that was going on was the the quarterback that's currently starting for the Giants is named Tommy DeVito. Um, his agent was uh, filmed. Was There was video of him uh, being at the game next to his dad and even on the field. This motherfucker looks exactly like a backup dancer from, from Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal movie. <laughs> Dude's got like a fedora on, just like a mob boss looking kind of guy. Huh? And with a name like DeVito, do you think he played that up a little bit? No, man. I just that's stereotypical who he is, bro. mob boss looking dude. Maybe. Or he's a fucking mob, mob boss. boss. Yeah. He could be. He could be. Kind of sketchy. Uh, but there was that, and then probably my favorite thing to talk about as far as sports go Chiefs. is the Kansas City Chiefs get beat by the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Yeah. Get beat by anybody is great. It is great. Yeah. But Any the given fact, Sunday and shit. Huh? But the fact yeah. of at the end of the game where yeah. all of the fucking controversy happened, where... There was a wide receiver who lined up off sides, which I believe it was uh, Tony, if I remember right, but I don't care. Um, no, you don't. I K- don't. Kiss my ass. I don't. You believe it. Was. I don't. Dude, so, yeah, he was off sides, and they you called it on him. You know who it was. And then the yeah, next play, yeah, don't act like the don't other guy like was off sides, and they did not call it. They did not call it. Uh, yeah. But here's the thing. That the, the whole situation, plus, I, I, don't, I don't care – uh, for either of these teams. I'm not a Bills fan. I do hate the Chiefs, but that's yeah. beside the point. The The reaction after the fucking game coming from the face of the NFL in Patrick Mahomes, and I am not going to sit there and say that he is not the best quarterback in the NFL. He is 100%. I think, I think he is 100% the most talented, and, and he's got – He's got no tools other than Kelsey around him right now. Yeah. I mean, Ray Rice, or Rice is doing a lot better. but or Rashid Rice, I'm sorry. But here's the thing. When you act the way that he acted, that is awesome. Really <laughs> shitty. Oh. Really <laughs> shitty. I disagree. Right, I, think he, I think he's going against the grain because you know the NFL uh, is like, dude, be cool. No matter what, you got to be fucking cool. And that's how ridiculous the calls were, is that even the fucking quarterback, who knows, like, dude, I work here. I don't shit on the place where I work. That's the rules. Was like, dude, this is fucking bullshit. But it's, We need robot refs. That's all there is to it. It's so hypocritical, though. It is so hypocritical. They have legitimately won a Super Bowl over a similar call. Yeah. And then they lose this game, and he cries, cries like a nine-year-old child. And it's such an embarrassment. Andy Reid does the same thing, uh, you know, as far as getting upset. So and what, saying something. But what's more embarrassing is them reacting to a clear problem or the fucking problem happening i am not gonna sit here and say that the officiating in the nfl has been perfect all the season i'm not gonna say that it's never it, been perfect you can't say that because yeah, it it's, has it's, been it's, trash it's been That's the very point. Bad. if they had and robot the, refs you'd have one year where like everybody's stats would be down a little bit because it would just be full penalties the whole game until players started realizing like all right i can fucking shove this guy i can't hold on to him like that kind of stuff. It would take one season for every player to get used to that and get trained out of that mentality, you I know, know where would, every single penalty gets oh, called Christ. every single time. It would stop happening. Football would then plummet because the the human the human factor in as as far as officiates. Now, I'm telling you that I think a lot of these officials need to be uh, what what uh, like uh, par- they should be penalized if they suck. Right? Yeah. They should be held accountable for them making bad calls or not making a correct call or something like this. In this particular case, it was the correct call. It was the correct call. And they are automatically assuming, well, they haven't really been calling. No, they said it was a fucking point of of uh, importance as they were going to try to say, hey, this is something we need to be looking for. Just the fact that it wasn't called on the very next play against Von Miller, it's like, 
I get it, but at the same time, it's still you still had the the game in your hands, the ability to win the game, and because of this penalty, it, and it costed you. And you still had the opportunity and fucked it up. So you just complaining to a referee. I just don't like people that complain to officials because they're not the ones who lost this game because they made the correct call against the team that made the penalty. That's the whole thing. Eh, I've Just saying. Just saying. And the fact that they legitimately won the Super Bowl on a similar kind of situation makes me really upset with them even more. Yes, yeah, so who, so whoever did. they beat should be on the same side as me in this argument, which is like, yeah, we should just call everything. No, e- I think either that or just get rid of refs altogether. Not and only, then it's like, all right, everybody can just do whatever the fuck they want. Not only do I think that they're not like that, they're now like, hey, you got what we got. Tough it out, dude. But how is that good for the NFL when every year there's one team or one game a week where it's like, eh, one team's like, sorry, bitch. (laughs) Like, the the shitty ref worked out in our favor. Like, why don't you go cry about it? Like, that's not... It th- we could eliminate that completely. I think it all goes back to I, I don't think robot referees are going to do you anything other than kill the game. I think you need to just be able to hold referees and officials accountable of whenever they suck. Remember, and, like and, uh, and pay them more. That's the other thing. They need to be able to make it to where these NFL officials only do this. This is what they do, and I think that you'll have ext- uh, much better results. Yeah, I forgot so, what I was about to say. Okay, well, there's that. Because JP's poking dicks together on his little... <laughs> he's got little glitter dicks, and Good he's making God. the tips touch. Well, and then as that's all for the sports that we have for today, I did want to talk about a couple of things that did come up. Uh, the first thing I'm going to bring up was uh, Brock Lesnar's daughter. Did you guys see a picture of Brock Lesnar's daughter? Is she hot? Nope. Um, she looks like Brock Lesnar. So, yes. She's fucking, <laughs> dude, she would beat the shit out of all three of us at the exact same time. Well, that doesn't. I, I mean, it's, I feel like it wouldn't take much for us to get beat up by a person. Oh, dude, this chick is bad. Well, she, as long as Scotty can't make it upstairs. <laughs> if he makes it upstairs, they're I, fucked. If I can get clacked, I swear to God, I will. But Who no. is Brock Letter Lesnar's daughter's Her, mother? Uh, ooh, I think it was Pamela Anderson. Mrs. No, it, Mrs. Lesnar. It's like a. It, she was like a wrestler or something too, wasn't? Oh, it? Sable. Yeah, you're right. There we go. Yeah, Sable. Sable so she has the two like in Gladiator. No, 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 no. That's Sa- Saber. Yeah. Oh. Sable uh, was. Uh, she was smoking hot as a wrestler, but yeah, sure. that is. But that's so they're both beasts, right? Oh God, yes, they're both. But this is this is Brock Lesnar with a wig at like seventeen. Well, that sucks to be Maya Lesnar. Who yeah. Everybody's like, you look like your dad. I mean, and dude. she's like, oh what? Like I have his eyes, and they're like, no, you have his physical build. I would like Everything. to see. Uh, what's her name? Her name is yeah. Maya. Maya. I would like to see Maya Lesnar versus Chaz Bono. <laughs> and and what? then we'll in a see. No holds barred. No holds barred cage match. I mean, I kind of. Then we'll see who's fucking tough. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would not mind to see like a like a test of and maybe, making sure. Yeah. Or know? maybe just throw like Chelsea Clinton in there too. Oh God, yeah. That, that would be that'd awesome. That'd be just man. fine. I would, I would feel love bad. to see all that. Even though I don't agree with her parents' politics, yeah. I would still don't want to see her be brutally beaten. <laughs> Good for you. That's very, very um, you know, honest of you. Thanks. Uh, the last thing, I wanted to see if any, any of you guys have seen this video going around because it's been so viral, but I don't understand why it's so hypnotizing to where I keep on watching it, but it's the, it's the it's there's always something else in the background but in the foreground it's there's these three asian midgets that are one's playing the guitar and these two other guys are singing uh, terribly i mean like bad and uh it's 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 played so much and i can't stop watching it and it doesn't matter what the what the background you know this video i'm talking about i've heard of i think i've seen one it it, it's so i didn't keep watching it because i was like well this isn't talent (laughs) well (laughs) i mean you're right but I was trying to see if I if I still had it. But I, I I'm still kind of like impressed of, of how like bad the the singing is. But the but how they do it and how terrible they are makes it so hypnotizing to where you continue to watch it. So that stuff is that. funny to me because it's like it's the same as as smells. 
Like if you open a jar and something's rotten inside, you're like, here, smell this. Yeah. <laughs> That's how like visual entertainment is you now. Gotta you're see like, this. This is yeah. look how bad this is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. That, that is, is true. a good point. But that's what sucks for people who are in my career path, which is like, hey, I'm gonna spend all my time making things really good. And people are like, We don't care about that anymore. <laughs> we just wanna see you make a fool of yourself. Do you, you know who's like popular as shit now is the gale lady from Walmart? Walmart. Oh yeah, I mean, dude! It's amazing. What happened? Oh she. Oh, you know. She, the, uh, yeah, I've heard Gail. the story, but yeah. I want to recap. She quit, and she like. There's a oh, video yeah, of with her, her over the oh, loudspeaker. Signing off. Yeah, yeah, signing off. Dude, people have gotten tattoos. Are you fucking bro, serious? There are people on TikTok that have gotten tattoos, bro. But what, what was her next thing? Like, why was she... That was it. And I, then people just started, like, ripping it off and, and using quitting. it. And oh, yeah. No, no, no. No, just her. Just reposting that video and... We we love you, Gail, and you know making fun of it. Some of them, some of them were, you know, there was yeah. there was a semi inspector or something that He's looked exactly up. like her, and so somebody was like, "Dude, we found her. We found Gail. We found her. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's, like, it's just been a thing, fuck. man. It's crazy. It's yeah. insane. But that's uh, that's how the it's world awesome. is now. Yeah. Uh, but that is the current events for this week. Now we get to have the fun. All right. All I, right. I was hoping it would we'd get to the fun. That wasn't fun. I, I mean, had fun. I, I had fun. <laughs> I, I had, had fun. fun. I had fun. Uh, but yes, we are going to kick this off with Never Have I Ever. Uh, we had a lot of folks uh, send suggestions in for this week's Monday Fun Day. I tried to use as many as I could. There was quite a few that we have already done. Uh, but any of the good ones that I liked for next week's episode, I kept. Uh, because next week's episode may be Christmas related. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, but anyways, hose, 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 hose. But anyways, uh, we're gonna kick this off with "Never Have I Ever," and this <clears throat> one comes in from Chase Golden. Chase Golden gets, gets another one in there. He I did, like that. yeah. He wants to know: Never have I ever repackaged an old gift and gave it to someone else. Uh, I would never give anybody gifts if I didn't do this. Are you serious? <laughs> no, yeah. I just find shit from around the house, man. Uh, I'm like uh, I'm like the old lady in the Christmas vacation where she wraps up her cat in her jello mold. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I can't really afford much, so uh, I just take shit from around the house. Most of the time, it's my roommate's shit. All right, that's good. I, I see you as a person that probably has like 250 ashtrays that are like all fancy and shit, and you that's what you <laughs> give people. Do you know how many ashtrays I have, bro? Don't lie to me. You are fucking kidding. You have zero ashtrays. He's just got cans and wow, zero and fucking coffee cups. That's incredible. I don't Coke smoke, I only smoke outside. So? So you, you just flick it? All right. That's fine. I mean, I smoke weed in the house, but I just have a Gatorade bottle to empty my pipe. Into. Right. Do you have a, a cigarette butt? receptacle yeah, outside I can so you got yeah. an ashtray i guess you got an ashtray. ashtray so you're lying you have a coffee can you have a no, folders it's can. A, dude it's from the it's from the like the guy that's like here's 10 pounds of potatoes in case the apocalypse comes you know what oh no i don't know what that's from it's from uh, what the hell is the name of the place anyway it's my room my roommate was like here i made you a butt can because i would just like put them out and then throw them in the trash oh, and he's geez. like you're gonna start the house on fire and i'm like i'm not man i'm but, not i know how to <laughs> yeah i have had i've I'm had a responsible smoker I, yeah. i've had trash cans uh light on fire before though from oh, yeah. like from emptying an ashtray too soon right. after i put a cigarette out right and, that and being, then i'm just sitting yep. there watching tv and i'm like what is is that oh shit there's oh smoke oh god <laughs> yeah my ex and i when we were uh together i was smoking out on the back deck and we had a five gallon bucket like a home depot plastic bucket oh yeah oh yeah we put it out and then just put it in there and i went in and went to bed and i woke up and walked out back and i was like what is going on dude there's like black all over the house <laughs> and they're the in-ground sprinklers Oh, the, shit. The PVC was all melted, and there wow. was a wooden box over the Woo. PVC. And they're like, was, where's my bucket? And I was like, what is going on? My bucket's, like, melted to the fucking deck. It's a black puddle. And I, as, I'm as i out there, and I've taken two drags, and the neighbor comes out on their back deck, and they're like, hey, man, your house is on fire, but don't worry. We put it out. <laughs> oh, God. God. Shit. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> like, uh, that's. Way to know, go. That wasn't great. Uh, but back to the they, question at hand. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I buy uh gifts for everybody. I don't re-gift things. I'm 
I'll right. re-gift some shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it looks like we're getting brand we're new getting presents. We're getting brand new shit. I pass out bullets, motherfucker. Yeah, you do. Uh huh. But so you do, you said you do, Mike, down there. I didn't answer. Oh well, then go. No ahead. one's asked me well, yet. Go, buddy. I thought you were gonna join in. I did when I was a kid. I remember I was <laughs> going around my room and just like finding like toy cars and like oh, yeah. some old stuffed animals and wrapping them <sighs> up. And I remember I don't. Remember if it was my mom or my dad, but whoever it was was like, "This is an amazing present. Like, thank you so much." I was young enough that I was stupid and bought it, you know. So then I just wrapped everything in my room, and I was like, "I have like ten presents for you guys." And they were like, "All right, the first one was nice. Like, don't quit wrapping your own shit." <laughs> <laughs> I I am kind of a piece of shit when I was a little kid, though. Uh, I my my mom, my parents were split up. And my mom wanted to buy something for my dad from me. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So instead of getting him something that I thought he would like, I bought him uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 on VHS. And gave oh, it to man. I for bet he, Christmas. I bet he loved that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh he did I, uh, or at least he acted like he did i would do that too i'm like hey i'll, I'll get you awesome. something that if you don't want it i'll take I'll it i'll take it yep that's, that's right awesome. uh but anyways all right moving on to the next one this one comes in from another serial killer joseph yeah. edward Bo- i don't even know this one scares me yeah joseph Busan. Busan. is that an actual serial killer or uh, anybody it with sounds like it no anybody, anybody with has three names three names in their ah. profile that is a serial killer uh, really? but anyways, is Joseph Gordon Levitt's a serial killer. Of course, well, he is. I didn't Duh. know that. I thought he was cool. Yeah, uh, but anyways, Joseph wants to know: Never have I ever got someone else in trouble with the law. I have. Oh boy. Yeah, I got. Um, there was a nice girl whose name I <laughs> no longer am going to say out loud, but. <laughs> Uh, we both got arrested at the same time for being lewd and lascivious in a, <laughs> in a public bathroom. Oh, good for you. And, and unbeknownst to me at the time, because all I did was drink and smoke weed. I didn't no pills, no powders or whatever. And we're sitting in the like holding area at this jail. And she was like, I have Coke in my underwear. <laughs> oh, my and I was God. like, what? Why? I w-? And my immediate thought was not like, oh, man, you're going to get in trouble. I was like, I wouldn't have fucked a Coke head if I had known. <laughs> I got more respect for myself than that. <laughs> Way to go, Mike. But yeah, and then also I got my friend Josh Dupree in trouble because we were pretending to be dazed and confused one night and we're driving around like uh, driving over trash cans and bashing mailboxes and that kind of shit. And mm. we ended up getting followed and like, uh, I don't know, the cops came. It was a big, long story, but... I remember him. We were handcuffed in the back of a cop car, and he was like, man, my mom's never going to let us hang out ever again. And she didn't. Uh, I will say I, I have very, very lucky. I have, I have never uh, gotten in trouble with the cops, uh, mm. like serious trouble, never been to jail. Um, so I have not gotten somebody else into trouble. However, I have got somebody out of trouble. I told a story about a guy that fell out of my truck going 60. Yeah. That for same, like two weeks now, you've told that story. Well, same dude, uh, different situation. Uh, he was in his truck that he just got the transmission rebuilt, and he was going out on joyriding, and he was joyriding in a parking lot while drunk. Uh, as one does here uh-huh. in Kansas. <laughs> he, had his, he had his truck literally for five or six hours, something like that, and he wrapped it around oh. one of the fucking light poles in the parking lot. Oh. And me being a good friend, he calls me from the IHOP that's uh, close to where he wrecked the truck, and he called me and asked me if I would come and get him and come get him quickly before the cops show up. And uh. so uh, st- statute of limitations, I think, have been met by this point in time, but uh, I wow, sure did. Nice. I'm a good friend. I don't I don't throw people under the bus. Yeah. How about you there, JP? So You throw people under the bus. Let me just say yes. <laughs> yeah, there uh, it is. But it was never... Like, it's probably happened many occasions. There's a lot of my life I don't remember. Um, Fair enough. But here's the thing, man. So one of my friends, I did participate in the crimes that happened, (laughs) okay? But I wasn't the main criminal. Oh. I did reap some benefits, but he went to federal prison for like 12 years. (laughs) Holy fuck. (laughs) No names, no names, no names. Wow. He went to federal prison for 12 years. Oh, man. Because of this? Because of this thing that I benefited greatly from. (laughs) Oh, my God. But wait. Another (laughs) friend of mine, who I greatly benefited from, went to federal prison for almost 10 years for not the same 
thing, but the same thing. Like, <laughs> oh, God. It, like, it, well, they didn't, weren't I've, doing it together. They're completely separate people. It was completely separate times. Oh, but I feel like you're the, the common denominator I was ready here. To say. You are correct. <laughs> oh, um, my God. So, yeah. So, and then also, there was a time when I worked at a convenience store, a very popular convenience store here in town. And, uh, I was messing around with one of my clerks and we were spraying each other with like window cleaner and shit like that, just oh. fucking around. And I was distracting her and she failed a cigarette shop and lost her job. Oh, fuck. Got fined. And like, it was a, I mean, it was fucked up. Way to go. And meanwhile, I'm just kept my job and fucking <laughs> yeah <laughs> so dick. i'm kind of a yeah i'm a douche but uh, yeah man i could say yes to that absolutely yes all right uh next one comes in from sean bentley uh he wants to know never have i ever taken a shit and got into the shower without wiping Here's what you don't know about gays. We don't have to wipe. <laughs> oh. We just shit clean. You know what that's I mean? So I don't so, think that's uh, No, that's accurate. not true. Uh, uh, n- I was just say I just learned I something new. I have, man. Uh, because that that day I shit myself on the porch. Yeah, you had yeah, I fucking you, you had stripped to. down on the porch that's and I fucking point. went and just hopped in the shower. So yeah, I guess yes. I I ha- I mean even even the time that I shit myself, I still was not at home to go get in the shower, so I, I had to go and wipe. Yeah, okay. But the other thing is, is that even if I am legitimate, I mean, because you shit, shower, and shave, right? Those are the orders that you do them in. No. Not me. Oh, my. I like to buck the system. Oh, sure. no. Shit is always uh, first. Well, yeah, or shower shit. is always after shit. I'll say yes. that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. At least we can yeah. agree with that. But yes, I, I do all three at the same time. <laughs> I, sh- <laughs> I shave before I shower because I need to exfoliate. Oh, that after makes shaving. that makes sense. Otherwise, I'll get razor burn. But yeah, even if I'm if I'm shitting and then showering, I wipe. I mean, it's it's a habit. It's yeah. a, it's a habitual but thing I don't, that I, I can't don't not wipe, do. I don't wipe as good <laughs> <laughs> when I'm about to hop in the shower. I'm like, ah, this is fine. <laughs> oh, this will do for now. This is enough for me to like hike my leg over the tub without <laughs> oh, worrying God. about stuff falling off or whatever, you know? Wow, that's gross. Oh, uh, all right. Well, that's fun. Uh, Great question. I mean, Great you question. asked the question. I didn't. He did. Yeah. Fucking Sean. Yeah, Sean. It's fucking Sean. Something tells me he has definitely done that. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> he's <laughs> trying to convince himself that it's okay. not weird. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. Uh, next one comes in from Stephen Shibley. Uh, he wants to know. Never have I ever woken up next to someone and didn't know their name. Hell yeah, I have. It was awesome. <laughs> JP. I can't even tell you how many times. <laughs> oh, it's a clean sweep, boys. <laughs> I mean, dude, I promise you it's more than this. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Yeah. I, I mean, I believe you. Yeah, no doubt about it. I had some wild years there for a mm. while. Uh, so did I. I. I mean, and and people do still, like, within my close group of friends, we refer to her as the teacher because she was a teacher. Uh, sure. And that's about it. That's, that's all, all I know. you yeah. know about that's her. That's all I know. Right. Yep. No looking her up on Facebook. Oh, God. I remember I was there was a hot girl. She was in my car. We were, like, doing stuff or whatever. And then all of a sudden she just stops and she leans back and she goes, tell me my name. <laughs> and I just, she could tell from the look on my face that I was like, uh, and she just opened the door and she was like, I had fun. Have a good night. And I was like, good oh, damn it. You should have played it, dude. Beautiful. That's your name. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. No, tell me my legal name. I've told you three times. <laughs> uh, Epic fail. Yeah. That all was, right. That was a bummer. Next one. Uh, Wish this, I had that one back. I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we got it. There it is. Uh, next one comes in from Zach Rothgeb, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's either Rothgeb or Rothjeb. The G is silent. It's Rotheb. Rotheb. That's where I go mm-hmm. with. Uh, anyway, Zach wants to know, never have I ever farted during sex? I don't. Not. I don't even want to know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but yours is that's different. That's different. <laughs> that's what I was going. Thank you. Thing. Thank you. That's what I was going for. I don't need to answer this anymore. <laughs> Go ahead, boys. Take it away. But if you if you <laughs> fart while you're doing the fucking, that's what we're talking about. Oh. Though I have seen. I think I've said this before, but I I saw a butt fart 
once and it completely ruined the moment for me <laughs> I was, it was like doggy style and i saw it, it oh it looked, I saw it, fart. it looked like it looked like Stargate or something like that. Like it just it just slowly opened a little bit, and I was like, "Oh!" And it didn't make noise or anything. But then I I like smelled that early morning fart smell, and I yeah, I made direct eye contact with it. I didn't mean to. I literally did. So it was like I looking back now, like she felt it and then tried to like. Uh. Oh, so it no. got big and then got small oh, again and yeah no. and then i tried telling that story somewhere else once and somebody was just like what's wrong with that <laughs> like got all offended and i was like oh. i don't want to see farts and butts and shit i'm not into that oh man oh god uh what about you I, you ever I, seen a fart scotty <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this says if i did and yeah. i don't think i have okay i am very I, i'm very conscious of these kind of things because i don't want to kill the mood i don't yeah, want to do right. it well i'm conscious of it now yeah i'm sure you are it, it makes me cringy though about the from age 18 to 30 before i was sure. like man oh it's like jerking off and then putting my clothes back on that's what makes my dick smell weird <laughs> and like how many times i fucking jerked off and then went out and just had a fun night and then met a girl oh, and yeah. she still did things with me even though looking back now i know she was like his dick smells weird <laughs> yeah but jp you you meef don't you i do you too me i do it meef? Happens. what is me <laughs> that is a callback from a long while is that a ago man queef yeah, yep. it is yeah that's, that's pretty a, much or it. a meat queef one of the two either way all right that's it, a great man these guys are getting there's questions there's, getting good get, you're getting good now uh last one oh. uh this comes in from nolo cinco he wants to know never have i ever tried to beat the gps time when going on a long road trip 100 well, percent the of the time the gps is very crafty though well because it'll catch because up because it fucking is like wait a minute this motherfucker's making great time let me readjust what time i'm gonna tell him he's yeah, gonna be there but it still shows like your arrival time when you leave so that's yeah, the goal it is to like beat that yeah but it can only go down if you're but I smoke, I smoke a lot of weed so i don't remember what it was in the first place I know, so right? it gets me it i gets do that me. too i yeah. like keep self timers yeah. when i'm uh I, today i was uh, cooking a steak and i was like all right five minutes it's 342 so so at 347 and then i'm sitting there playing shit on my phone and i look up and i'm like what oh 353, fuck <laughs> i forgot like, oh. yes yeah so the gps that i use actually has your starting time okay ah so that's that and, yeah. and it does it say how long it's been since you left yeah i like oh, that yeah. so i wish mine did that. exactly so it tells you what it should take how long it should take for you to get there uh and and every fucking oh, time i, I try to be well of course you try it but i want to slaughter yeah, it i no, want to i ab- drive really fast i, I always slaughter i it. want to pump action shotgun that i'm fucking doing thing. 80 to 85 down kellogg 100 why the fuck people don't get out of my way this is, i don't i, I don't do. speed this is 100 percent why my wife pisses me off on road trips when she wants to go to the bathroom yeah. it's because you are costing me precious time mm-hmm. of trying to beat that fucking gps so yes this is definitely something i do yeah that's like foxworthy's old joke about like we didn't even stop we just pulled up next to a tanker truck and yes. hooked her right on didn't even stop for gas yep all right uh now oh that was uh, never have i ever uh now we get to move on to jp's favorite part of the show this is called that's where i draw the line so i had a listener oh message me Uh-oh. and uh well, several last week actually but this one in particular she asked me like what the difference was between that's where I draw the line and some other stuff that we've done in the past. Sure. And I'm like, I didn't really know how to explain it. Cause I was super high. <laughs> I was like, it was Taylor Morosky. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look, Taylor, I'm just going to not answer you, but yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, so, but it's not, it's like, you know, yeah, I don't it, know it, how it, to explain it, it, it but it, here's the deal. After you've been doing the same show for five fucking yeah, years, you have to be able, yeah. and the other thing is, is now we have a total of six guys on the show, and so they have different answers that you've never heard before. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. a new way of incorporating new yeah. ideas, but are kind of the same. So yes, it is kind of similar, but that's kind of, eh. yeah. plus this so. is more fun. This is limits is basically what this is. Uh, but yeah, that's where I draw so the it's line. it's limits, Taylor. It's limits. Limits. Yeah. 
Uh, but anyways, that's where I draw the line. The first one for this week comes in from Ian Smoke PW from Twitter. Second week in a row, old Ian's got the first. He's got yeah, he's draft. got the, yeah, he does. What's uh, the PW? I wonder. Uh, b- b- I don't know. Postpartum depression. Pussy record. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's it is. Definitely <laughs> pussy record. <laughs> that's but what it is. Smoke. No doubt. He yep. has smoke, so maybe he's smoking some fucking power weed. Possibly. Well, obviously, he's wrecking pussies. It must be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he wants to know where do you draw the line. What is the minimum battery percentage on your phone before you need to plug it in? Dead. Yeah, I was going to say when it comes up and says 10%, then I mess with it for about another 20 minutes, and then I throw it on there real quick. You guys are fucking monsters. Why? Well, you I always have, have to have yours I, charged all the time. 100%. Or otherwise you freak out. You seem I, like that kind I'm of guy. I'm totally that but fucking But what's dude? your battery health? You're not supposed to have it charged to 100%. I got the new... Uh, iPhone recently, and it has a thing where you can uh, cap the charging at 80%, which is uh, supposed to be good for like the longevity of the sure. battery or whatever. Yeah. But I have a battery case for mine also, so I can use my phone for fucking days yeah. before I actually have to charge it, to- put, like plug it in to charge it. You totally know? get it. This is where this comes in, but this is why electric cars are going to be bad ideas for a lot of people. What? Dude, I just talked to a guy about this yesterday. Yes. Oh, it's for sure a horrible it, idea. It's a horrible idea. Horrible for idea. Especially for people like me, because you cannot charge up to 100%. Right. It will lo- it'll well, stop Well, not you. only that, but the same thing with phones. Man, I your phone just stops working. Yeah. So every two years, you have to get a new phone. Mm-hmm. At least that's what I found, that it slows down enough or stops working enough that you got to get a new phone. They're, they can have fuck with your car <laughs> and make sure it stops working. So, and yeah, dude, this is a bad idea, dude. It's not just that. But, like, no, I am definitely one of these people. I'm not going to go into the mechanic side of it. But, yeah, yes, it's, 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 it's a very dumb idea. But as I, far as the phone. I like the idea of having electric cars. I just think they're trying to rush it. And they, they're like, oh, it's, big time. it should be required that everybody have an electric car. And it's yeah. like, why don't you just let the market decide when everybody because if it gets to the point that i can plug in for 10 minutes and have full charge and then drive for a week that's the biggest problem i would absolutely drive a yes. fucking electric car you yes. know what i mean but yeah that's a hundred percent the problem is the charge time charge times <clears throat> from people who are driving like cross country or something like that uh plan on being at, at a charge port for at least three hours um and you are only going to be able to charge it up to like 80 percent Um, which is going to be a problem for people who have a brain like mine, which is I don't want to be in the situation to where my phone is completely dead. Therefore, any opportunity that I have to keep it plugged in guarantees me that situation will never happen. So that is basically how my brain works. You got to cycle it, though, you know, like so if you look at your phone, don't tell me I don't got to do shit. And it says (laughs) 68 percent. You're like, oh, God. I better charge this. I, and I look at my phone and it's like 30%. And I'm like, yeah, we're good. Yeah. No, we're I'm good. Not. I can go to sleep. I'll charge it in the morning. No worries that it's not going to. I mean, I don't have my percentage. I don't have my on, percentage showing, but I have my battery deal. I'm half full. And I am almost completely full. I will, I'm at 76% I will I right, right now. They yeah, say the, you're supposed to keep your battery between 30 and 80% for, uh, for long battery yeah, life. Yeah, well, fuck them. Um, <laughs> next one. Uh, next one comes in from Nathan Blackwell. Uh, where do you draw the line? How many coupons is appropriate in a busy shopping line? All of your coupons. Look, man, if you have gotten to the point in your life where you have to use coupons, have to, what do you mean? or not have to, or you do, you're just a shitty person, man. Don't I 100% disagree. Coupons are stupid, man. Coupons just add spend up. Spend the man. fucking thirty cents and buy the deodorant. You know what I mean? Like, what the I, fuck? I, I you're gonna go that. to the grocery store. You're gonna have nineteen dollars that you would not have had otherwise after you spend, uh, you know, a grocery I cart guess, full man. of shit. Yeah. Plus, like uh, this so might I, be a Missouri or Kansas thing or whatever, but like the way I've always done things is if the person in front of you is taking a long time. You don't complain about it or anything. You just know when you get up there, you get to take as much time as you want. And everybody gets that deal. So 
I'm fine with it. And if the person behind me is like, let's go. I'm like, dude, there's fucking more lines. I'm not here to make your day easier. I'm here to make my life easier. It's still the thought that you are not the only person that exists is the thing with me. Not yep. saying that you're wrong. Not the, saying that you're wrong. The guy behind me is not the only guy that exists. Why I, the fuck does he get to go faster because he wants to? Like, no, you wait for me. I've My grandma's 92, dude. You don't know how many fucking sure. people I've looked at and been like, I'm so sorry. When she's writing a check for a, a $4 <laughs> oh, fucking... God. I Yeah. And I, I all all the time i'm like i can pay for it and you can just write me a check later and she's like no i don't know how to keep track of that if i write it i know how to so i'm like all right and now i've just learned you know like i'm just gonna stand here i'm gonna do uh like the shrug yeah. shoulder thing to the person in line behind me and every time they're like hey man don't I, worry about it i also think this question is even a little bit more outdated than than what actually happens now majority of people whenever they go to you know the grocery store or something like that they check themselves out that's mm -hmm. kind of what it's getting to anymore and so that's a little bit more of an understanding however i think where the question initially comes from are the people who are the super couponers that have books yeah and whenever that particular situation happens uh because i actually know two people who do this shit yeah, me too i mean they legitimately walk out paying like 30 dollars for 400 fucking oh, yeah. dollars Dude, worth of shit insane. it's nuts but they actually go in at what they're supposed to do yeah. they actually go in go to a manager and tell them hey i'm a couponer i'm going to have this much shit and so i'm gonna need a a, a like a fucking line all for myself is basically yeah. what happened and when they do that fuck I, go for it have all the time you need i was gonna say too and i i i take my answer back i do use coupons do you but you piece of only, shit only on my you app liar. only on my, so if you go on, the oh, on your app, app yeah, yeah you pick what you want true and then when you put your when you slide your dylan's card or you put your phone number in it pulls all that from your phone right. and automate and it takes no time so i do do that yeah that's but true think about like if you walk up to a line and somebody has uh two carts worth of shit yeah, that yeah. you don't react to different. that the same way that you yeah. would with with coupons but it's the same idea yeah. mm -hmm. it's like the person still has to take the time to scan all of these things but you wouldn't get up in a line and be like let's go buddy so like, i say five that's my where I draw the line. Five coupons. Uh, Unless it's digital and it goes all at once. I say infinity. Yeah. Do your thing, grandmas. It depends on the situation. but I, I fully I, support your coupon. But if your grandma starts writing a check in front of me, yeah. I am decking her. No. Oh, it's even worse when she's written the check and then goes, oh, wait, I have coupons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so then they have to yeah. scan all the coupons and Boy, then she gets to write sure. another one. Yeah. That's great. All right, next one is another Nathan. Uh, this is Nathan, I believe it's Frazy. Uh, he wants You're to know. You're crazy, man. You're fucking crazy, dog. I bet he's heard that a thousand 100%. times. 100%. Uh, he wants to know, how long do you attempt to perform oral sex on your partner to completion before you throw in the towel? It's a good fucking question. That was a connoisseur. <laughs> um, Receiving the longer, or? the better for me. I will go all fucking. I mean, that's so. I will. Weird, I will just suck that motherfucker ah, till my tongue falls off. Yikes. I don't. That's a. I like it when it goes a while. Uh, so anyway, uh, Scotty. <laughs> Scott's I mean, like forty-five seconds. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I. I mean. The thing is, is how long will you suck a dick for, Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> zero seconds. Okay, his answer is zero. Uh, but no, as far but dude, I've I've basically been with the same woman for now for over yeah. ten years, and so I know what buttons to push, mm -hmm. and so I'll go as long as she fucking wants me to, and that means multiple things that women can do multiple orgasms yeah so i will keep on going it's one of my favorite things to fucking do i can tell you that right now so i'll go for a long fucking time i'm yeah I'm i a, i enjoy I'm a it pleaser. as well if it's uh, if it's presentable you know what yeah, i mean yeah yeah if it's yes <laughs> there you it go has, yes <laughs> like if it's yes. if it's a good one then i'm like dude i can do clean. this all night <laughs> Especially yes. if she's cool and she like angles her body in yeah, such a way go. where I can see the TV at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever you do. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Don't look at the fart. <laughs> yeah, don't look at the fart. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, it's a, any sex question. That's what's weird about like <laughs> young, when young boys try to learn how to do these things, like 
the advice they get is from an experience that the guy had with one girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? So oh, he's yeah. like, I'll tell you what you do. You like, you smack her ass and what? And so then when you go to your next girl and you smack her on the ass and she goes, what are you doing? Oh yeah. Like too, how yeah. dare you do such a yeah. thing? Like it's everybody's different, you know? I will say this though: if you get into a situation to where it doesn't look like they're having a good time, just stop. Just yeah, stop it. I literally, I think I've said, dude, I'm just repeats all night on this. But I had a girl once say the phrase, "You could at least act like you're enjoying yourself." I was like, yeah. I am. I'm just th- yeah. thinking about. So stuff. I like to do it, but I don't. Want it? I could give a shit. Oh, if you, yeah. No. Isn't that weird? No. Reciprocation. I don't, yeah. And not, that, not that I don't time. enjoy it. Not that I don't enjoy it. I can't do 69. That sucks. I can't do it because it, tic- it tickles, man. Oh, okay. I can't do it. That's fine. It's like, so, it's no. crazy. I know Scotty's you don't want like, to just quit telling <laughs> me. Yeah, man. Look, you're going to have a lot of things to dream about when you finally get to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> now, for, for me, being blown yeah. by a female is uh, entirely dependent on her attitude about it. 100%. Because if I feel like she she's... She takes it like a champ. If I feel like she's just trying to get me... Yes. Uh, to come yes i'm like you're not doing it right like i oh no take that back (laughs) but if a girl's like i just love blowing dudes then i'm like go ahead like (laughs) as long as you want to there you go and that's when i'm like this is enjoyable if i know she's enjoying herself if i feel like she's doing me a favor i don't like it yeah that's gonna say i'm kind of along the same lines i do i do enjoy it it's been an episode it has been i do enjoy it but here's the (laughs) other thing i don't enjoy it enough to make her keep doing it i would much rather have both both of us pleasure at the same time. I, I, does that make sense? Like I'm, I, I'm a yeah. giver. I'm a giver, man. Me too. This is why I've been married Me to her for too. so long. Okay, it's starting, it's to, starting make sense. to make sense. Yeah. yeah, basically the sex is good. That's what happens. Okay, I, I do agree. Yeah, the sex with your wife is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. Zing. That's a good one. Thanks. I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, next one comes in from Tyler Plackey. Uh, he wants to know, uh, where do you draw the line? You have a drinking problem if you start drinking at what time? Yesterday. Oh, boy. Um, <clears throat> this is a this is a depends on where you're at question. That's My answer is yesterday. I know. I know your answer. I totally do. What? How? What do you mean you totally do? Uh, w- well, yeah. Like, if you started drinking yesterday and you kept on going, that's, is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yes, I understand. But I've also been drunk at uh, the day that I got fired and a DUI at the same time <laughs> was uh, St. Patrick's Day. I forget there the year, go. but I had to work at noon that day. So my plan was I'm going to wake up at five, get trashed, go to the parade, and then be sober enough to get to work at noon. And, you know, I told that you, did not. Work I told out. you the end already. Yeah, yeah. I, I fucking left with like all the cash. I was a oh, waiter. Yeah. And I like people had paid for their meals and stuff. I had all their money and in my little apron and you're supposed to do like the checkout. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I just left. I had like two dudes credit cards that they had given me to like pay their tab. I just left. I don't remember. And Uh, then I got arrested. Yeah. Four good times. Yeah. Uh, So my answer, my answer is noon. Uh, If it's a regular day, if you drink before noon, you're doing it too quick. Um, now, if you are at the lake, at the ocean, or on vacation, right. those rules go right out yep. the fucking window. I'm with Very you, true. That's exactly. I, I'm with yeah, you. Unless right. you live on a lake. Yeah. You're not allowed to drink before <laughs> noon just because you yeah. live on the lake. If, you, if you're at the lake, though, it is it is customary to wake up and crack a beer open. That's At least that's what it is uh, in my family. Uh, Have you ever see. seen the massage girls like at poker tables? Like, yeah. In oh yeah, big yeah, yeah. Poker. yeah. Can we get one of those? Because I could use one of those right now. Dude, that man. would yeah. actually be really cool. Let's. If you're watching this and, and you're, you're a hot, massage girl, yeah. Now you don't even have to be you a don't massage have to girl. Be hot. The hotness is no, the most. I think, no. no. All right. So we're gonna get one good I, ugly massager I, and I, one hot bad one. I think. Cool. I, I think I'm with. I'm with Mike on this. If they if they're attractive, I'm down. They just have to touch my shoulders, and that's feeling good. Yeah. yeah you can't no. fuck up a, yeah, a you, shoulder. You road. can't. So I think I, I think we need to unless you do it too hard. But unless we have a I know, I oh like, I like it a fucking tough. callback yeah, here, uh, Maya, Maya Lesnar in here doing it, <laughs> then I'll be like, oh god, oh. 
She would crumple me like a fucking piece of paper. All right, uh, last one. Where do you draw the line? This one comes in from Jody Donaldson. Mm, this uh, sounds like an invite by Jody. Is that a chick or a dude? I'm pretty sure it's a dude. Oh, damn it, yeah. Jody, you fake ass. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he wants to know, how many sexual partners is too many at one time? You couldn't even guess. <laughs> <laughs> Is it more than the number of names you've forgotten? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. I wouldn't even know what to do if I had a room of 20. Oh, there's plenty to do. <laughs> no, there's not. No, there's not. There I is. know. I'm like, you guys just, I'm going to just play Nintendo or whatever because I've already came and it's not going to happen again <laughs> yes. hey, that's, for a little while. That's what my deal is. It's like, I mean, I I just want the one person. That's it. I, like even I, the, I, I'll I'm take ter- two. I'll I'm take ter- ter- <laughs> I am. <laughs> like, like, look. One of my favorite porn things is when there's one girl and she's laying on her back, and then there's another girl laying on top of that girl. Sure. And then the dude <laughs> fucks one for a second, and then immediately the other one, and then back and forth. Oh, that's And great. Wow. The, the science part of my brain is like, they're probably spreading a lot of diseases that way. <laughs> <laughs> but like the sex part is like, yeah, that'd be cool to do though. I, I know I'm weird and I'm old fashioned, but no, I, I if I had another woman in there as the, as attractive or more attractive than my wife, I I would feel dicky. I I wouldn't like it. Oh, I love feeling dicky. And, and I'm sure you would. No, I, I I just wouldn't like it. It wouldn't be the same. It because I want to give her all my attention. I'm okay. a giver, man. All right, me too. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Is that me your love too. language? I think so, yeah. Giving. I'm a giver, yeah. Or like whatever that is. Whatever that shit is, yeah. Uh, but anyways, right. that is where I draw the line. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Now we get to move on to questions and pray guntas. And we're going to go right into it. We've got some uh, good ones and even a bonus one, I think. on there. Yeah. Uh, first question comes in from Stefan Flores. He wants to know, what is the best inconvenience curse to put on someone? This is an easy one for me because I have seen it happen in real life being in the automotive world. I had a person that brought in their vehicle where their volume would very slowly start to turn up. So, I mean, Uh, with like it would, they would keep on every 10 seconds or 15 seconds, they would have to go over and turn it all the way back down. And in 10, 15 seconds, it would go uh, all the way. That would be fucking annoying. Yeah. So, if I could curse somebody, that is the most annoying thing I've ever seen. And I think that's a pretty good one. So, I'm going to go with that. JP? I'm going to go with every time that you pull into, try to pull into a parking stall, there's a shopping cart in it. Oh, fuck those people. God, that's, that's a good one. That's the worst, dude. That's a You fuck. come around the corner and you're like, fuck, I see it. There's an empty one. Yes. And you get there and there's a fucking shopping cart and you're like, I'm not fucking moving that shopping cart. So and guess, go guess, where the, guess where that parking space is? Right, right. Na- next to that fucking sharp shopping cart place. Yep, yep that's yep. right. How about you, Mike? If an inconvenient curse to put on someone, yeah. I would have their foot be asleep. <laughs> that's, that's inconvenient. That's pretty inconvenient. That'd like it, awesome. it, and it never, it, it just, just goes never. from fully asleep to the tingly feeling, yeah. oh. but never back to complete normal. That's good. I dig that one too. God, that would be inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Uh, next one comes in from Twitter. This is from Ninja Fighter Twenty Eight. He wants to know what's the worst places to see a streaker. WNBA game <laughs> <laughs> for me. No, I mean, kind of me too, yeah. if you know what I mean. But yeah, well, it, uh, nobody would see him. Why? Because nobody's there. Oh, that that's is true. Call. Get it? Yeah, that's sports. true. Yeah, Zing. sports. Yeah, yeah. Zing. There you uh, go. Check out my comedy special. <laughs> Yeah, there's only like five people Oh, that's people awesome. There. That is good. I said a hospital. I just feel like that yeah, would be... Yeah, that would be yeah, that'd interesting. Be terrible. It, like if you see it at a sports event or something, you're like, hey, everybody's having fun. But yeah. if it's at a hospital, you're like, wait, is this a prank or is this person really, really sick or what's wrong? Like, is yeah. it zombies? Did, oh, yeah. Have we started zombies? Oh, for sure. I've always gone into a really bad part of town where there's a Walmart and there Walmart would be a good one and slow somebody is say. very slowly streaking yeah. throughout the store yeah, that's not good just because of what they're wearing yeah fuck and it's terrible i like that oh jesus uh next one oh boy next one is 
Rejected names for a cream pie. Load lotion. <laughs> oh, my God. It's <laughs> disgusting, dude. Get your bottle now. Okay. Poon goo. Poon goo. Mm-hmm. A box booger. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a leaking donut. <laughs> Ass hat. <laughs> for me. Okay. How about you, Mike? I just wrote, get a towel. <laughs> get a towel. <laughs> That's my name for it. Do you want me to get you a towel? <laughs> a thigh slug? <laughs> See, no, I don't... Uh, I, <laughs> I can't imagine myself saying these things in the situation. Ass oyster. You know what I mean? Hey, why not? Because I don't want to... Uh, <laughs> And All it, I want my cum to do is produce a beautiful baby girl. <laughs> oh, bullshit. In nine months. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Or get on the tissue and go in my trash can. <laughs> one of those two. All right, fine. Uh, next one. If kids have elf on a shelf, I want blank. I didn't really think of anything, but I just want to be left alone. I wrote, I don't. Can't think of anything cool that rhymes with weed. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was because like, I don't read uh, them ahead of time. Weed so I'm like, what my, rhymes with uh, weed? What rhymes with weed? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I, that's what I was. Like, I've pot, seen. Pot, I've pot, seen some like, funny uh, ones lately, though. They had the one with the pot uh, on a cot. Yeah, that's what I think. The Afro thing. Yeah, uh, and it was a, a sperm. So it was like perm on a sperm. Perm nice. on a sperm. And then my friend Dustin Kaufman, who's Jewish, took a picture of his whole body and put it on top of the shit emoji so it was Jew on a poo. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, nice. That, that was pretty popular on Facebook. Oh, good. What else have I seen? Nope, oh. don't remember. <laughs> okay. Weed. Something weed, though, huh? Mm. Yeah, I said pot on a cot. Yeah, there you go. That's what I do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Taylor hey, Morosky. Hey, yeah. she's back. She's getting, she's getting like... Uh, I don't know if she's getting a lot of flack, but a lot of people think that she has good suggestions. And she does. She just does. That's yeah. the thing. Uh, so, yeah. And she's even trying to have everybody else have a yeah, shot. She's which awesome, is awesome, man. She's great. Fuck uh, you, Taylor. <laughs> fuck you, Taylor. Uh, but she wants to know rejected Jeopardy categories. Um, hmm. uh, I've got. Go ahead. Uh, I don't look at these ahead of time. So Porn movie lines. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I could see Jeopardy doing a tasteful version of that. Oh, though. really? Okay. He wants you to come on his what? <laughs> <laughs> what is boobs? Nope. I, sorry. I shouldn't have eaten that for another one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's that's the one. That's one that I could totally see being a Jeopardy category. And they're I, like, this poisonous fruit. How about <laughs> name that feces? Oh, where, gross. Like, you, they just show you a picture of something. <laughs> what did this? <laughs> yes. I wrote. My uh, ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what is? <laughs> I wrote potpourri. Oh, which yeah. Is a, yeah. A weed yeah, yeah. joke reference. Good God, one. you're a bunch of potheads. And then I wrote city capitals. <laughs> City which just seems like, like something that should be a thing but is yeah, absolutely like not a thing you just confuse so many blondes though what's the capital of the city of toronto yeah uh and last but certainly not least this comes in from craig remington he wants to know terrible wedding vows uh, w <laughs> that's a good one. That's, ter that's, that's pretty good. That is terrible. That's yeah, that is terrible. say your vows. Uh, 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 um, I, 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 I imagine somebody has actually probably said this, but especially in front of a whole bunch of people in a church, can you imagine somebody saying, "I promise to only fuck you and cut back on jerking off." <laughs> Could you imagine somebody saying that in front of my grandma, in front of all your family, yeah. dude? That's one of my least favorite things is when uh, people like do things that are comfortable in their in privacy, yes. in public. I don't like. Yes. I don't like seeing shit like that. This bothers me. Yeah, this kind of stuff, like. I'm almost thinking of like the 1985, 1990 pictures where they, they look all retro and shit. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
in what? Uh, not necessarily the wedding, but but move with me on just this. Just in okay. general, the yeah, pictures like, like the, the, weird the way people. they. The, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, and I like the weird saying. people. I, I see them saying. saying very weird stuff whenever they get married that only they will understand, and yet they they make all of us listen to it. It yeah. makes me feel funny. I don't. How like about it. how about I promise to love you and stay with you forever unless you get fat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fat or cheat on me or cheat on me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I wrote. Uh, Third time's a charm. <laughs> Third time's a charm. She doesn't mean anything to me anymore. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Whew, we made it through. Oh, I thought there was going to be a noise. I was, oh. I was punching along. Why to not? Well, oh, we're going to do this one. There you go. God, it's so fucking addictive. But anyways, uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. That always reminds me of that Chiefs commercial where, uh, what's the place called? Uh, Oh, I don't know. You you don't know what I'm talking about? No. It's it's the radio announcer. uh, Oh, oh, there was a place in Kansas City. It was a jazz club or some club called Jazz. Oh. The guy on the uh, 101 The Fox in Kansas City used to... Oh. Br- broadcast all the games and th- that guy would come on and go this uh part of the nfl or whatever is brought to you by jazz <laughs> okay and i always think of that when you say draft like that great story let's edit this anyway. part out <laughs> yeah, please we were having a great we were show having so much fun and we're back it's <laughs> time for the draft <laughs> anyways uh last week uh i did not do so hot who Der- won Derek did as always with flying colors, uh, I I believe so. You know what? I better go back and check. You check man. because JP you never know. JP does have a tendency to come and surprise some people, um, but I just don't think that it happened Not because it's week. it's just it's just Derek. That was his. Uh, oh yeah, it was totally it was totally Derek. Um, but yeah, we did the new people on American Currency draft. Ah uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he won with Fitty on Fitty and Lil Wayne on because those the are now Wizzies. Yeah. yeah the so. Wheezy. Yeah, the Wheezies are uh, $100 bills now, if you didn't know. Nice. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week, uh, JP is technically going to get the win. There you go, Mr. JP. Oh, I'll take a technicality. Yeah, there you go. JP gets the technicality win. Uh, I got dead last, and so I am the sandwich. And because Mike hadn't been here for a while, Mike, you get the number one pick. Oh, shit. And this week's draft is going to be our favorite urban legends draft okay okay brought to you by serial killer (laughs) andrew james heath that is correct andrew james heath uh you suggested this one and um yeah so anyways let's kick this bad boy off mike you get the first overall pick for your favorite urban legends i'll tell you the first one that i ever experienced experienced bloody mary Yeah. yeah yeah bloody mary's a good one I remember doing that at like eight or nine years old. Yeah, I did too. And then being somewhat disappointed that it wasn't true. That it didn't fucking happen? I was like, I want to I want to talk to her. <clears throat> yeah, no, I hear you. Um, I, I, I'm going to go with my number one that absolutely terrifies the fuck out of me. Hmm. And that is Megalodon is still alive. Was that an ocean creature? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And why does that frighten you? You live in Kansas. I am terrified <laughs> of sharks, and Megalodon, Megalodon. <laughs> is giant fucking shark. Yeah. But what's he going to do to you? Eat me. Here? Maybe. He's going to poke his head out of the ocean. You He's never so big know. that it's going to reach across nine you states never and get you. No, man. Never know. JP, you get two in a row. All right. My first one, I'm going to go with Bigfoot. Okay. I man. mean. Come on, yeah. Classic. That that's yeah. classic. that is the classic one now. Uh, Harry, yeah. And then the second one is the killer in the back seat. Killer in the uh, back seat. I don't know if so. I've the story goes where this girl is driving home from wherever, and mm-hmm. somebody is behind her, and they keep flashing their bright lights, 
and she gets scared and she drives faster and she gets home and the person's still behind them and she jumps out of the car or whatever and the the guy's like oh my god you know there's a killer in here there's somebody in your back seat whatever yeah it turns out they saved them from getting killed because they kept flashing the lights good or whatever. It's, grief yeah, yeah that's hmm. a good one i uh i feel like i liked it better than you <laughs> well yeah. i, I it was is just what it is. into the story i wanted yeah. to, like how does the light flashing prevent the killer from because killing? when the killer goes to flashes the lights and then she looks in the rearview mirror she would see the killer oh huh yeah, it's crazy. That's it's an urban legend, man. That's what we're fucking doing. It says right there, favorite urban legend. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, is that and that's your favorite? It is now. I found one that uh, the new one that I had never known was actually a thing, oh. and then it it I've seen TikTok videos. You son of a bitch! And it creeps me the fuck out. And that's the tall slender man. You motherfucker! Yeah. That was my next pick. You're yeah. a real piece of shit. I'm sorry, man, but that I I, I wouldn't have right known there. if if I, I wouldn't have yeah. known unless it was for TikTok. You've never so. seen the movie? No. Oh. No, sure right. wouldn't. Uh, Mike, you get two in a row, dude. Mothman. Yeah, that's a good one. Mothman is an excellent story. I the Richard Gere movie is it still holds up mm-hmm. as at least as far as you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Urban legend movies go. Yep. Uh, and you get one more. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna do the old. Uh, what's that? Uh, I'm trying to think how to. Because you're only going to put down like two or three words. No, I mean, I, I mean, I can get kind of creative. The story of the girl in uh, in scary stories to tell in the dark that has the ribbon tied around her neck, and uh, and the guy is into her, and he's like, "Just take the the ribbon off," and finally she agrees and takes the ribbon off, and then her head falls off. Oh. So whatever that's called, the girl I, with the ribbon. Okay, that's that's what I wrote down. Perfect. But, um. I have not heard of that one. Oh man, did you, did you never read scary stories to tell in the dark? <laughs> yeah. I think is that what it's called. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, that, I think yeah. it is. And yeah. they even did a. I don't remember if it's Netflix or what, but they did a, a movie version of that or right. a series or something. And those was, same old uh, stories. Nickelodeon, man. Yeah. No, that was. Are you afraid, are you afraid of the afraid dark? Of the dark? Yeah, that's way that's right. different, but kind of the same. Okay. All right. I uh, my next pick is. <laughs> It fucking creeps me out. Thank you again, TikTok. I'm gonna go with Skinwalkers. Yeah, that fucking creeps me out. I'm sure it's CGI. I'm sure it's nothing but bullshit. But the fucking videos I've seen, it really freaks me the fuck out. So, what's a Skinwalker? Skinwalker is a Native American uh, story passed down that uh, they are kind of humanoid creatures that can. Um, change into animals, and it is very creepy. Uh, like animals that do very strange things. They have them on camera and stuff. It's fucking way, way weird. All right. So well, that's, I, that's, I that's know what I'm watching tonight. Yeah. Skinwalkers. They, you didn't think it would. <laughs> dude. I'm watching Skinwalkers, crazy. too. Yeah. Different deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, JP, you get two in a row, man. No, let's go with the chupacabra. Chupacabra is a good Love pick. Love that one. Yep, I like that is one. Is that too. that's not Bigfoot? No, no, okay. different. This chupacabras. Is, <laughs> this is how down, are they different? This is down in Mexico, in man. Mexico, man. They, the chupacabra is the one that kidnaps the children. Well, not only that, but they like it's not even the same kind of animal that they. No. they it looks like a. It looks like a dog a, with rabies and shit. It looks it, like uh, that Ghostbusters thing. Yeah, it does. The yeah, fucking. It's yeah, fucking scary looking. Yeah, not good. Okay, you get another one. And then the vanishing, the vanishing hitchhiker. I've heard of that before, so but I didn't know if that was the killer in the two back. Boy, too. No, two boys are going to a dance or whatever, and they f- they see a girl standing on the corner, uh-huh. and they pick her up and invite her to the dance. She goes. The one boy dances with her. She's cold, so he gives her his jacket, and they drop her off that night at the house. She goes in. He comes back the next day to get the jacket. The mom answers the door and says, "My daughter died." in a car accident on oh, that corner yeah. 12 years ago wow yeah that's pretty awesome i like that one she vanished she vanished vanishing hitchhiker and uh i think i got the steal of the draft on this one but i'm gonna go with the loch ness Nessie. monster man okay yeah dude i do i know can i ask a question sure do you guys actually think that <coughs> nessie's is actually a real thing yeah no, no? I, it could be of course not. i think 
I, I think it could be. It could be. They've yeah. got same with Bigfoot. I think there could be one out there somewhere, man. No. Why not? Because we would find a dead one. No. We would find some not bones necessarily. Somewhere. What do we do with when when our when we die? What do we do? Bury. We cremate ourselves or we bury ourselves. We don't cremate ourselves. Well, that's no, for somebody sure, cremates but, us, but I like, mean, all right, it's so the what's end. Say, what's saying? What if they bury you? Then Ooh. we would still find a a, a buried fucking. Ooh, I got I got my last pick. All right. it just popped into my head. Uh, Mike, you get your last two in a row. Oh, um, it, I don't know if this is an urban legend or if it's a real thing that happens. But have you ever heard of like a snake coming through the pipe of your toilet? Right, it can happen. Actually, um, it has happened. So does yeah, that it, it not has, count as an urban legend? There, then? there is an urban legend though that you can use that's similar. It's the sewer alligator. Yeah, I've heard uh, of that. Yeah, it's a good one. You could use that if you want. I feel like you guys are. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, use that one. Yeah, use that one. You're telling me not good ones to pick. I don't know. Maybe. I want to think of one that's not like popular. But But it's it's tough. But it's still like a thing, you know. Um, Because this is like my meat and potatoes of the shit that I, I get into on like discovery and stuff. Like, I've heard the stories of people finding, like, a mouse in their coffee, like, after they finish drinking it. Or, oh. I've heard that. Of, I've heard a can of Coca-Cola. Yeah. Oh. I've heard with that like, one. Or, yeah. yeah, like a taco with, like, a right. finger in it or something, something like that. Like that. Okay. okay. Ugh. Which one do you want to use? Mouse and coffee? Uh, yes. Right. Uh, dead mouse at, okay. at bottom of coffee cup. Okay. I got that. Uh, wow. <laughs> All right. And then you get one more. And is okay, does this count as an urban legend when I used to have a my buddy doll when I was a kid and I was scared that it was going to come to life like Chucky and kill me? <laughs> okay, this is creepy. I had a my buddy doll as well, and how closely the my buddy doll resembles Chucky is fucking staggering. Which one came out first? Uh, I don't. I believe I assume my, my buddy, buddy did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it had to have. My buddy, yeah. my buddy, my buddy, and me. buddy and me. How about Wherever kid sister? When kid they, sister. My kid, buddy was yeah. so popular. They're like, you know what? Let's make like, one for, for girls. girls. <laughs> kid sister. We don't want to give her a name. Kid just sister. Gonna, I'll just. You just want to put. I go. You just want to put. You're like, gonna go. <laughs> kid kid sister. sister. You want me to put just living doll? Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, my last pick, um, God damn it. I've got an, I got another one, but I, I'm going to go with one that intrigues me the most. Uh, giants, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, like Andre? No, no. Like real like giants, real giants, like a 10 foot tall. Yeah. Fucking ogre. People man. claiming that they've dug up the bones that are ginormous they're people who had to have been over like 15 tall 15 feet tall so yeah i'm gonna go with that okay jp your last pick oh god i'm surprised nobody said like jesus or something <laughs> uh, because that's a true fucking story it down absolutely there, buddy. is man i'm gonna he, go with uh people hiding under your car and slashing your ankles what did you like no oh like, yeah that's a style. thing yeah that's a thing where like probably in the mid to late 80s sounds were, like you just caught somebody no, no, trying no, no. to steal your catalytic converter <laughs> no i was gonna go with this one where they say somebody hides under your car and slashes your ankles yeah or i was gonna go with somebody puts something on your windshield so that you don't see it until you're driving off and then when you see it you pull over and they come and they attack you right? uh i've heard that shit yeah. all the time but yeah. never i've heard that but i've never like actually heard anything come of it no, so that's all fucking bullshit because the person people dead. put rubber yeah. bands around door latches stuff and stuff like that yeah. right 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 yeah absolutely yeah. So, so which one do you want to go with the the fucking ankle slasher. ankle slasher okay wow Never heard of that one. Really, either. man? No, you guys are. And in it's dip. worse. Like around the holidays, they always ca- always comes out more like during the holidays. Wow! I don't for whatever reason. That's why gotcha. I wear thick socks. Smart. This episode brought to you by thick, thick socks. socks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did have a couple other ones uh, instead of the giants. I was thinking about the kraken. Yeah, yeah. The uh, kraken is 
f- again uh, terrifying to me because it's in the fucking ocean. Yeah. You're just scared of water. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am terrified too, of dude. not the being the top of the food chain, man. And in the water, in the ocean, I am definitely not. So I don't like it. Did somebody say the hook hand guy? Uh, I did see that one, but I didn't want to pick it. Yeah, I remember that story, though. Dude, mm-hmm. you should look up scary stories to tell in the dark and, and look at the cover and tell me that you don't remember. Yeah, it was the same. Wasn't it the same uh, author as uh, A Light in the Attic? No, I don't Shel think so. I think so. Isn't that right? That's who did The Light in the Attic is Shel Silverstein. Okay. That's which what I, I love, those books. Yeah, I did, too. I thought that was what it was, but maybe not. Maybe. Hold on. I'm going to show you the cover here. I just I'm only imagining like the, the Nickelodeon TV show Are You Afraid of the Dark? That's, yeah, right. that's, that's what's po- that's what yeah. I'm popping in my head, but yeah. anyways. Uh, but yeah, guys, go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or Twitter, which is that uh, Oh yeah, I don't I do remember the uh it does the look cover. Like a Shel Silverstein. Uh, yeah, that's what popped in my head. It definitely is. Um, it's uh uh, collected from folklore and retold by Alvin Schwartz. Okay. Yeah. There Same you go. guy. Anyways. But there's like it's 10 or 15 name. stories in it, yeah. and they all creeped me out as a kid. And I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or Twitter slash X, which is at LOT sidelines and vote for whoever has the best list of urban legends or your favorite list of urban legends. And whoever wins doesn't get jack shit. We just like to brag about it for like a couple days. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Mike's new comedy special, which is called Number One Top Selling Best Comedy Special Ever. Look it up on YouTube or go to MikeIsFunny.com. I've embedded it into my website so you can watch it directly from there. Absolutely. And if uh, if you like it or if you, even if you don't like it, just uh, share it around. Uh Oh I, yeah, I rather well, enjoyed it. I will request, if you would, fi- there's albums of it also. So whether you use Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, whatever, uh, find it on there and e- and listen to it. And if you like it, give it a review, please, because I could use. Uh, oh fuck! I could use those stars. Oh, absolutely, and that's a good that's a good time for all of us. Uh, if you are listening to this on Spotify. Do us a favor, stop the show. If you have not already gone and given us a five-star review, that helps us out a lot. We would sincerely appreciate that. So if you have not done that, please do that for us as well. That helps us out immensely. But I asked first. True. So so do mine and then think about. Fair. Uh, But yes, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is would you rather... Always only have 15% of battery in your phone or less. Oh, no. Or (laughs) watch a butthole fart. (laughs) Well, I'll start this off. (laughs) Okay. I'm going with the butthole. Uh, I'm going with the fart. How how often do you have to watch a butt fart? Uh, Do you have to do it like once every time you have sex? Okay, yeah. Okay. So that's... that's, that's I already do that. I feel yeah. like so. By I'm the, going with that one. By the third one, I would just be like, "Cool, I have plenty of battery." This is <laughs> <laughs> like I would get. I would just be like, "That's great. That's part of what happens," you know. <laughs> but no, I would be fine. Like, can I still plug it in? Yeah, you can plug it in. So as long as it's plugged in, it just stays at fifteen percent. Yeah, that's yeah, the absolutely. max. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just fifteen percent though. From fifteen to dead though, that's a good hour at least if you're using it wisely. Yeah, yeah but here's the problem: the person who has my brain hates that it says fifteen percent. Yeah, and never goes above that. That is, I don't know why. It's just something that just fucking irks at me. So you're going with the butthole. Ah, uh, I mean, you are. You definitely are. That's you what are. you're saying. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and that's what you're saying. I've seen my wife's butthole. Have, have you, you seen have it? You watched fart. it fart. You know what? That's actually funny. Uh no, I have never seen it fart. I've never actually like heard my wife fart. Wow. What, yeah. See, are you sure she's not gay? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Have you Have you walked in and smelled that your sure. wife farted? <laughs> uh, I have. I well, I'm just gonna say yes. Okay. I, I mean, I know that obviously poop comes out of there. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but 
So we got ah, we got two this, buttholes. This is way too tough. This is way hard for me. Like if I if it comes down You're going to it, butthole. No, I'm probably going. I like thinking of my wife as being this absolute total pure angel. So you're going with the phone. I'm gonna go with the phone wow. because it doesn't fuck with my lifestyle. Uh, because I always have the ability to plug it in, so I am still in the same situation and don't have to worry about my phone dying. So that's where I'm going with the phone. Okay. All yeah. right. Did everybody go? You go with the phone. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You're going with the phone? Mike's, yeah. seen, Mike's seen the other in person, so he's like, no, nah, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> yeah, it's like, fuck that. <laughs> One of the most traumatic experiences of my whole life. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that to happen. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Well, guys, thank you both so very, very much for coming on the show. Uh, I know next week... Um, it is going to be the Christmas episode. We don't necessarily know who all is going to be on it or uh, or who's going to be on it at this point in time. Uh, but if we do not see you guys, I hope you guys have a merry, merry Christmas. Ooh, can uh, I say one more thing real quick? No. I'm doing a show at uh, <laughs> Barley Corns in Wichita hey. on Saturday this week. Hell I'm a, fucking yeah, I'm dude. opening up for, uh, it's called, uh, oh, fuck, Blazing Mics. It's Nick Allen and Gary something or other. They are both on stage at the same time, and they, they just kind of riff, but it's really impressive. Like, cool. And I'm opening up for them, so I'll do like 20 minutes of comedy and uh, then introduce those guys. Sounds like fun. Saturday, Barley Corns. I think it starts at 7. Absolutely. Uh, but thank you guys very, very much. Mike, thank you very much. And as always, Mr. JP. So beautiful. You're welcome. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. And guys, uh, like we always say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you do not like us... I hope you get stuck at the grocery store behind an old lady <laughs> with like 150 coupons <laughs> and she's writing a check. <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Save money. Live better. Walmart. <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care.